ideally, we would take, like, the contract for the Bud 8 right now, but, you know. Okay, we, it wants me to rank first in points. I don't think I can even do that. Well, I, I know I can't do that. Yeah, too bad we can't do lower levels. Okay, we got package sponsors. EA Sports. Bruco Motorsports, right here. Average finish top 15, finish top 10 twice, qualify top 20. That's basically the same contract that we just got done with. And then there's NBC Sports, finish top 15 in each of the next six races. Rank top 15 in race earnings after six races. You basically would do that if you're finishing top 15 every single goddamn week. And qualify top 15. See, that one's doable. But what about these ones? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at these. We could be Jason Keller, rank top five in points after 12 races. Get paid each time you finish a race in the top five. Nice. Qualify top ten six times, dude. Wow. Top five in points. Same thing as the last one. This one is ranked top five in points also. This one's a harder contract. Well, kind of. It's pretty much the same contract. Okay. I mean, and then we could just look at these contracts. You know. Rank first in points. Well, that's not happening. We could probably rank top ten in points. Given that we have uh, Daytona, Atlanta, which is suddenly a good track, and then Texas, which I fucking should have won at, we could easily rank top ten in points. Well, this is a 12-race contract, so this is at this point in every season. Really what we should do is... um. Really what we should do is go unsponsored for uh, for the next uh, three races so that it resets to a new season every single year. I think that's what we're going to do, actually. Okay, I have enough for the final handling upgrade, which I think is a good choice, but I also would like to maybe get some more drafting ability. No, handling is way more important. There we go. Oh, my. We maxed out pit crew and handling. Feel like that's the intelligent way to go about this. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not gonna spot, we're not gonna get any sponsors. We're gonna drive an unsponsored car into Victory Lane in Richmond. That's what we're gonna do right here, right now. That's that's the play. That's the that's the fucking Alpha Chad play right here. Oh, oh, oh. Did you see it turn? Oh my... Oh. I, oh my goodness gracious. You always see those fucking Reddit threads, like, what feeling is better than sex? Well, it wasn't the last three, two corners there, but we qualified third in our unsponsored cup. <laughs> it looks good. It looks good, must be said. All right, start the race. Damn, dude. We didn't even get the poll after that. That was fucking absurd how much it turned. And we didn't even get the poll. Oh, we still got Motorola. Hey, we still got Mo Remember earlier when uh, I signed the package sponsor despite having the associate sponsor still having three races? Well, because we uh, brought the car back to the 166. Well, the reason that Motorola's still here is because they were still signed when I was on the fucking package sponsor. So, here they are. Here's that sponsor back again. Man, I was just getting ready to say how uh, we're, we've improved at every other track on the schedule, but like, Richmond's the one track that we've gotten worse at over the course of this playthrough, and then I finally made a pass. And look at Mark up here. This is gonna be, this is the championship wild card race right here, because someone's gonna try and pit and they're gonna die, and that could mean the end of their championship hopes, if it's, you know, it's someone in the championship. <laughs> Of course. Um, yeah, like Mark just needs to. This is a bigger wild card than Talladega. Mark just needs to play it safe, dude. Play it safe. CSX, play it safe around the fucking pit lane. See, the fucking crew chief, every single lap says that you're closing in on the leaders. And it's like, it doesn't look or feel like I'm doing either of those things. It doesn't look like I'm closing in on the leader. It doesn't look like I'm closing in on third place. It doesn't really look like anything is taking place. It looks like we're just kind of fucking gridlocked. 
typical Richmond moment. Anyway. We're pitting this time. Unfortunately, the only way I can win races is if I pick 10 laps before everyone else. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, do that. How about... How about that? Alright. Pitting time! Good shit. Alright. I see people are pitting. Which is usually not what happens. There's usually death before then, and there appears to not be death today. Oh shit, that's fucking interesting. Looks like there may be a chance that there was no death entering pit road today. That is probably the craziest thing that we've seen this entire playthrough, honestly. Uh, not what I was anticipating. Oh no, someone's sitting there now. Yeah, it's all oh, they're still wrecking up here. I don't know who it is. Oh, it's Bobby Hamilton. He deserves it. He deserves it after he was a dick to me multiple times. Well, now the question is, yeah, Mark stayed out. So he's losing a bunch of time because he's on old tires and everyone else is on new tires. And I'm actually behind Sterling Marlin. So that's cool. I did not gain any time on pit road. That is really awesome. Oh my goodness. Thankfully, these guys are also running into, into Marlin. Maybe I can dive bomb the shit out of these guys here. Chad, go faster. You need to go faster, Chad. We're battling for the win, and you're kind of in the way, in the middle of it. Yeah, like eight cars managed to pit. And now everyone's finally going to make it down. And, like, look at all the time that they're losing by like, coming down this slowly. Yeah, Mark still hasn't pit, it looks like. Yeah. This is how he loses the championship, and there's Stewart up there, who is going to win this fucking race. Because I can't catch him. So, out of, out of every race that we've done this year, you'd think that the one that I would win would be Richmond. You'd be fucking wrong, apparently. Because here we are. Yeah, if Mayfield had tried to rattle his cage a little bit more, we would have been in much better shape to fucking maybe grab this. But we're going to finish second at Richmond, which is fine. It's a fine run, but... You know, it's just frustrating that we're as good as we are and we're not able to win this race. Hey, Mark finished fifth. Jared finished eighth. Fuck, that's a really good finish. And a whole $81,000. Amazing. But hey, that's more than I've made with a couple of sponsor contracts over the course of this playthrough, so, you know. Six, six, six points. Oh, Mark. Oh, Mark. I don't have any confidence in your ability to close out this championship, Mark. Okay, so. It is Martinsville time. Yeah, the Martin implies that Mark will do good in this race, right? Uh, I'm going to be devastated if he loses this championship, man. I'm like, fucking... I'm having fucking PTSD flashbacks from my entire childhood right now. It must be said. It must be said the absolute zero confidence that I have in Mark Martin's ability to win a championship. It's really shining through right now. Boy, when I actually need to win a championship, qualifying at Martinsville is going to be the most brutal thing that I'm going to have to sit through the entire season. I might try t taking two tires this year. Mike Skinner's on the pole, which is a little bit more reasonable than... Uh, in future games. I don't see Mark anywhere. Ah, uh, yeah, he's like, okay, he's on the inside, but it's way back here. In fact, he is just in front of me. That is fucking depressing. We have very little hope now, and he's already getting the shit dive-bombed out of him by multiple people, so, yeah, alright, well. At least we knew it wasn't gonna be the case before I got my hopes up too high. Okay, the car just doesn't turn now. The car doesn't accelerate off the car. Oh my goodness, look at him come! Oh, you see him in the mirror! Oh, Mark's trying, dude! He may have no ability to qualify at this fucking track, but like, fuck me. Alrighty then, that was needed. Oh, Jarrett's not doing so hot either, though. Jarrett's back here too, hang on. Hang on. Let him go. Let him go. Let Mark go. Let him cook. Let him cook. Mark is ahead of Jarrett. It must be said. Mark is ahead of Jarrett. 
All right, let's hope that he can continue to do this. <laughs> let's hope that he can continue to manage to be in this position. Oh my goodness, all right. We're fine, we're making up spots. Goodness gracious, you've seen the fucking world of outlaw sprint cars. You know, they're like fucking slime jobs and they're, you know, comebacks. That's basically this track. You know, when they're doing it to each other and not just killing me for no reason. Oh my god, Mark is faster than I am. Once again, let him cook! Let him fucking cook if he's gonna be this fucking fast. Go! Go, you beautiful bastard! I don't know where Dale Jr. is, but you need to pass him, like, a lot. Guys, what are we really doing here? The 45 is still there. And I'm still not... We're all fucking worse off for it. Kyle, please fuck off. Apparently it's Kyle Petty. Man, more like Kyle Bush. I guess it's just in the name. Look at Mark go. He's so fast. He just does not care. He's driving. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Up into the fucking distance. That might even be Dale Jr. right in front of us. That would be fucking heroic. And then he'd go on to blow an engine at Talladega. That would be exactly what would happen. Bitch, I'm trying to pick. Okay. Well, I was going to pit that time, and I kind of did do a pit in a certain sense, regardless. Stop, dude. Oh my god, I hate this game. See, it's not that bad at this track, because you're not actually going to do the exact same thing two laps in a row. Okay. I'm going to take two tires, because this shit's dumb. See... The difference between this and Lowe's is that even though I'm getting my ass destroyed every single lap, it's still recoverable. I'm not getting fucking murdered and there's absolutely no hope I'll be able to make another pass again like at Lowe's. At least at this track, I'm capable of coming back. When I get murdered for no reason by these fucking morons. There's a huge fucking difference, it must be said. Okay. Good pit stop. Hope these tires make it to the end of the race. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> if that would be the case. Oh my. Okay. Move. <laughs> Move, bitch. I must say, dive bombing these guys is shit. I understand why they do it. It's very satisfying to make up a spot almost guaranteed. Like so. Oh. Car doesn't turn. Okay, we're second. P2, apparently, is where we're going to be after that pit cycle. I have no idea who the leader is, and Jeff Burton's going to drive around me on the outside, so it's not like we're going to close in on him or anything. Oh, 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 that was not the best. Well, he, he was successful in the past. Oh, there's Mark right there. Look at the fucking pace. Yeah, get railed, Burton. I just get back past him. Damn, that's a good shit. Alright. I have no idea who the leader is. The leader is gone. Get to the gone. Under the gun. Okay, I think Mark Mark can go by. He's on a championship on man. Go get that ass, Mark. He has six laps to make up a full straightaway on whoever the hell the leader is, and he's going for it. Look at that these fucking moves by the six car. What a run. What an absolute run. And here comes Jeff Burton from left field. Tires very worn. That's not tire wear critical. We've still got plenty of time on these tires. And I'm just going to need to sit in front of Burton. That was poor driving on my part. Okay, well. Can we get Burton back? Yes, we can. Oh my goodness, dude. The speed. We should have taken two tires at Martinsville years ago. Try, hey, please drive. Mayfield's just gonna go around me like I'm standing still. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Mayfield. No. I refuse to fucking lose to this man. This is the same shit as Thunder 03 PS1 Martinsville, where we're battling against Jeff Burton the entire time. I really should be protecting the tires, considering the tire wear was critical last lap. Oh my god, we still have to go around another time at this goddamn track. Please turn the car. Okay. Oh my, it does not like driving right now. Okay, I don't think we're beating Burton, actually. Oh. Oh. Go! No! Damn you, Stewart! We're gonna still get fourth. Okay. Gordon won, it's not Dale Jr. Mark finishes way ahead of Jarrett. Dale Jr. is nowhere to be seen. Oh my goodness, dude. Mark Martin might win this championship. 66K. That feels like... It feels like a lot for Martinsville, actually. Purse amount is usually, like, non-existent at this track. Another good run for Johnny Benson, too. He's, I bet he fell off over the entire course of the season, so he's probably nowhere near the top ten points. But he's had a solid, solid year in that Valvoline number ten. Okay, I'm fifth in points, dude. Fucking A, all right. Except I'm losing points to the points leader, who is Mark Martin. <laughs> Oh, Jimmy Spencer, 13th. Benson's fallen to 17th, even with his... Well, he had four top 10s last year, I guess. Oh, my goodness. And that was not a win. Mark Martin did not win that race. He is looking to become a zero-win champion. Wow. Jared, on the other hand, he has two fucking wins this year. Gordon has one. Boo. Dale Jr. has one. I've got two. Hey. Guess who has two W's? Almost an average finish of 10th, even. Two fucking wins for Harvick. He's, he's overpowered in this game, too. No real surprises there, though. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think we're going to save the game, actually. As we prepare for the final race of the season. And for once, literally nothing that I do in this race matters. I'm already guaranteed to get my two top 10s money from the Soster secondary sponsor that I, you know, forgot about before we start next season. You know, knowing how it goes, this will be the year that I win Talladega. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. You know what? This race means so little to me, I ain't even gonna qualify. This is a terrible mistake because we're gonna have no speed at the start and we're gonna lose the draft. But, it also means I don't have to sit through like three and a half minutes of qualifying. Come on, car, accelerate. Okay, or they could just brake check right at the start. That's also an option. Steve, please don't. Okay. Yeah, the pack's already separated into two sections. So that's cool. Reason right 
right. Now we're going to zero miles an hour. And these guys are all just going to fucking drive around me because they have impossible speed. So we're going to finish even fucking. I was just going to be like, yeah, we're going to finish. War we're going to finish thanks to Newman's dumb fucking ass. We're going to fucking finish 20th and torpedo in the standings. But no, we can't even have that. No, I can't even have 20th. Oh, look, Jarek finished fifth and Mark's nowhere to be found. I'm sure he managed to find a way to lose this championship because, you know, he would. Fuck this goddamn game. No. Astonishingly, Mark Martin is going to actually win a championship in this game. Despite no wins since 2000, in the three years that we've simulated so far, he has no wins, but he does have a championship. Good stuff. Anyway, um, here we are. There's our stats for this season. Fucking average finish gets fucked up the ass thanks to Ryan Newman. Etc. Uh, sixth place is where we're going to be in points. Still a full race behind, of course. So it's not like we're anywhere near closer to actually getting a new, uh, whatchamacallit. I'm going to wait until next season to, uh, pick a sponsor in case there's a new, uh, Oh, there are many things. Tony Reigns is retiring, and Sasa Soares is replacing Shane Hall. Tony Reigns retiring is just devastating. 27 years old Kevin Grubb gets to retire into the sunset in 2003. That's a uh, little on the nose game, little on the nose. But he does go out a Coke 600 winner, so hey. Good for him, I suppose. And now Sasa Soares, 28 years old, <laughs> replacing Shane Hall. Okay, well in that case, we appear to still be uh, not getting any money from the uh, these sponsors. Did we get any money from the sponsor? I feel like we did not get any money from the Motorola sponsorship that I've had on the car for how long? Guess the game just forgot. Okay, so I could pick up the Alka-Seltzer car. Could pick up the 43 again. So, Alka-Seltzer. Rank first in points after 12 races. Get paid each time I have the fastest lap. Are you kidding me? I really want to be the Alka-Seltzer car, though. Rank top 10 in race points. Okay, we can do that. Get paid each time I finish in the top 5. Okay. Qualifying the top five four times. I don't well. I think we did that actually. I got two two poles and then like two second place starts and a fourth I would have gotten this one last year Nice, but like at this point we really should be winning the championship. So, you know Get paid each time I get the fastest lap. I Feel like that's gonna happen zero times Qualifying the top 10 six times. Yeah, I want to be the Alka-Seltzer car. <laughs> That's what I want. Hey, look at that. I have no money to put towards car attributes. I mean, I could do durability rank one. That would be great. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we're kind of stuck where we're at, so. 2004! <laughs> Next time on Kamikaze Games, we do 2004 and hopefully win the fucking championship. I have a feeling that we're not going to do that, though. Just a lingering sensation. But we did really good last season. Major improvements were made. We just need to continue to go in the correct direction and finish a fucking Lowe's race in a better position than fucking 30. That's basically where it's at at this point. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in whatever it is that we do next. Bye! Fuck! 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 I just pushed Piglet into a power-up! No! Go away! Go away! Ah! 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 This is rape! God damn it, this... This is rape! Ah, where's my rape whistle? <laughs>